What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer, and welcome back to Pokemon Snakewood. In the last episode, we f we got to Slateport, but apparently the game won't let us get into Slateport unless we do the Seashore House. Um, but on this beach, there's a ton of trainers, so there's probably not going to be a whole lot going on in this episode. If there is any story in this episode, I will put a timestamp. Um, I'll put... Um, I'll, I'll put something on screen, just let you guys know uh, at what at what point in the video, uh, if there's any story going on or anything that warrants to further the story. Because as far as I know, this episode is probably going to be mostly trainer battles. Or if anything, or if anything else happens, like maybe our Magikarp evolving, because it's only another six more levels, and he goes, and because there's a lot of trainers. We're going to be doing a lot of switch training. So, we're going to start... I need money. <laughs> we're going to start by finding a trainer that needs money, apparently. Who's also a pirate. Pious. <sighs> Sends out a little magic cop. And... Actually, you know what? Let's just see. Okay, we're switching. And on, and on top of that, there is a bag in which we can heal our Pokemon literally just south of us, so... Oh wait, we can't use Psybeam, because you're part dark apparently in this game. Let's go into power. And bop. You're gonna scratch again, and that's not gonna kill. <laughs> Alright. Magikarp probably won't get a level Poic. Almost. Okay, that was quick, and we need to heal already. <laughs> Alright. I don't know what that sound was. I don't claim to know what it is. I don't wanna know what that was. Quillfish level 7, jeez. Let me just leave so I can heal. Thankfully, it's not that far. Actually, how much more until Magic Carp? Not switch summary. 557. So if he's gaining 180, about two battles or my Pokemon. Because if I go, because if they have multiples, I can just switch. Switch into Magikarp, then switch back out to either Poic or uh, Seppuku. Oh my god. Can I get to shore, please? There's the Magikarp. <laughs> Alright. Let's start fighting some trainers. What does this say? Trainer tips. Pokemon at the same level may not have... Oh, it's talking about Eevees and Ivies there. Let's fight you. Beaches like this are about the only safe places left. That's thanks to the salt water soaked into the sand, of course. You didn't have the usual, like, trainer tune. Which is hilarious. You have a line in. Alright. Um, let's go to Seppuku. Let's go fake out. Probably not going to do a whole lot because apparently they made them both in this game. You know what? We're going to bide. Or not. Of course it sends out Mystery Egg. Of course it's Mystery Egg. Let's go to Poic. Oh my blessed jeez. Just let me have Poic, please. Well, 
Well, on the plus side, literally everyone is going to get some experience here. Give strength. Whoa! That did tons more than what, than I thought originally. I'm switching. If you use Roar again, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be frustrated. Citrus Berry. Interesting. Let's go fake out again. Prevent you from doing whatever you were going to do. And this time we are not biting, we're just straight up. You have two citrus berries. Actually, you know what? Let's go faint. Why? Why would you do that? Okay, yeah, let's go back to using cut. Or miss. Oh my god. <laughs> this game, well, I mean, that's actually a good thing because I can uh, fake out again. Or not. <sighs> I think this is the only mine you have. Oh my blessed jeez. This is what I gotta deal with. Thankfully it didn't do much, but is what I gotta deal with. Can I stay on Seppuku, please, without you spamming Roar? Are you friggin' serious? How many citrus berries do you have? Thank you for the critical hit, Seppuku. Very, very much appreciated. Oh my god. You know what? I, I had a feeling you were going to roar again. Nope. We are not staying on Poic. Not at not at 3 HP. Not doing it. There's the Super Fang. We're living. And unless you use a cit unless you use a citrus berry, which you're not. My noon is dead. <laughs> Thank God. Holy crap. Poic is now level 30, which is nice. Zigzagoon, don't care. Wait, I had something important to say, yeah? What do you got? What I was going to say was, don't go into the seashore house. There's something in there. Well, it's a good thing I'm not going to the seashore house yet until I fight all you sons of bitches. I'm sorry, that was mean. I apologize. Thank God this medical hit kit is not too far. All right, I, here's the guy that took me out last time. I might just take your items to live. Yeah, sure. Barabbas, here's the surf kit. Now we're getting into the good stuff. Um, let's go into Sapuku. Water sport, perfectly fine. I'll take the water sport. And let's go fake out. Ooh, nice damage. Nice damage to Puku. Bye bye, Sir Skip. And you're about to go Wingle. I'm going to go to Magikarp again. And, uh, well, you have three Pokemon, which is nice. And we're gonna then go back to Seppuku. And missed. That increases. That makes it so that more than likely I'm gonna miss, I think. No, 
not like it matters. And then cut. Don't hit yourself in confusion. Please don't. God damn it. <sighs> My luck, in a nutshell. Snap out of confusion. Hey, turn one, snap out of confusion. I will take it. I will. Halo. You have a ton of mons that don't give off a lot of HP. Although Magikarp is almost level 19. Uh, let's, let's go to Poic this time. Because Ancient Power can take out Talo pretty quick. I think. I'm pretty sure. And the Mist War off, which is nice. Ancient Power. You have Quick Attack, that's fine. Ancient Power. There it is. And Magikarp is now 19, so five more levels. Okay. I think. Oh no, you're you. Wow, you look like a champion! He's my brother. So cool. Here, take this. If anyone can use it, you can. After all, the champion's your brother. The Volcano Pot. What exactly is the Volcano Pot? Hold item that raises power ground type moves. Interesting. Okay. Um... I think that's it for trainers. It is. Okay. I'm gonna heal. Um. Oh. So. And. Nope. Here we go. Run, run, run away. Alright. Okay. So, for those of you who are only joining us now, um, I'm going to do a very quick team recap and um, let you guys know what uh, apparently we got ended up getting a new item by talking to one of the NPCs. So, very quick team recap. Magikarp is now level 19. Didn't learn a new move, which is fine to a point. Um, so he's uh, so he still has Splash and Tackle. Mystery Egg is uh, is level nine. Um, due to a double battle. No, no, that was from last episode. Uh, Ball Toy is level 30. Uh, with Psybeam Harden, Rapid Spin, and Ancient Power. Sapuku is level 31 with Bide, Feign, Attack, Cut, and Fake Out, and no one cares about Ziggs again. <laughs> In terms of the item that we got, we just got the Volcano Pot, which apparently is a held item that increases ground type moves, which is nice. Um, will I be using it? Probably not. Maybe when, uh, when may maybe when Baltoy becomes a clay doll. Uh, which is actually not that far off either, which is apparently level 36, so that's not too far off either. And Magikarp only needs five more levels, and we get ourselves a Gyarados. So I comb the area. No more trainers, I think. Yeah. So we're gonna save because I'm afraid that this might be the last chance we get to for a while. We'll see. And one of the peep, one of the trainers said that apparently something is in here. Let's find out. This child has been... Okay. This child has been turned inside out, stuffed with salt, and then turned back out again. He is very well preserved. Loot his corpse? Yes. You gotta follow our air stone. Okay. Um... Oh! Okay! That was fast. <laughs> what are you, former Chef Tomu? 
one Pokemon with Munchlax. Level 30 Munchlax. Too bad I don't have any fighting type moves. You're level 30. Holy jeez. Um, let's go to Poic. That sprite moves so fast, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go Psybeam. Munchlax actually will give off pretty good experience. Now that I think about it. Um, if I could get the confusion off of this Psybeam, it would be pretty nice. Why are you... I mean, sure, keep using... Um, keep using Screech. Now you're using Sock. Oh, fun. Can I please get the confusion off? This is what, my fourth side beam? Oh god. It's gonna be one of these battles, ain't it? Alright, Ancient Power it is. <laughs> we got the we got the boosts! We got the boosties! Yes! If I can get another one, that'd be pretty, pretty nice. Not to mention, this will do a lot more damage now. Because we got that attack boost. And that, ooh! Pollock with the crit. Very nice. And we got the boost on top of that. Don't even need it. Because battle's done. <sighs> That was fun. Ton of experience, here we go. That would have been 600. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. What the hell was that? Wait a minute, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. That's pestilence, famine, war, and death. The only person who could have made a chef into that starved monster would be famine. This would this must be his dominion. I better tread carefully from here on out. Soda machine by Soda Pop. Yes. Because there was a guy in Duford who was thirsty. I wonder. Uh, now you were the one who told- what was I gonna say was Uncle- oh, uh, there's something in there. Okay. Um. I know it's been a shortly, uh... A pretty short episode no actually you know what we'll surf back we'll we'll surf back we're gonna surf back to Duford because apparently that guy is thirsty and I don't know maybe maybe now that we have a soda pop maybe um, maybe he'll let us talk to the few people that's on there because I know that there's an item so let's go back because I'm curious. That was actually quite a bit of distance without running to a Pokemon, so I'm pretty happy about that. We got quite far. Um, that'll be the last thing we'll do for this episode, actually, just to see um, if this guy will move. He said, damn, he's thirsty. So maybe after I give him the soda pop? Maybe, hopefully. And I did reorganize my bot my bag too. I'll probably do that in between episodes. I have all my, all my healing stuff near the top so that you don't have to scroll all the time. Um and we're 107. That was also quite a bit of distance without running into a Pokemon, which is nice. While Quillfish run because we don't need any of that and we're at Duford. okay uh, we don't need to heal because we just did can I give you the soda pop no 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 they're far too tired and traumatized talk to damn I'm thirsty what if I do give okay now that just gives okay they're far too tired and traumatized side too. Damn, I'm thirsty. I was ho hoping the soda pop would work, but I guess not. So, I'm going to end things off here. Yeah. I'm going to end things off here. 
Um, I'll meet you guys back in the uh, the Duford Beach or Slateport Beach, not Duford Beach, Slateport Beach. Um, go around uh, go around Slateport City to see, because um, apparently we now know that famines and uh, the famine one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse is there. So it looks like we're gonna have a few story. So it looks like we're gonna have a lot of story based stuff happening there. So be on the lookout for that if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to click that thumbs up button like you never clicked it before and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one i've been chris the chaos gamer and i will see you in the next video whoa in the next video <laughs>